here with reaction to all of this and tonight's top stories, Fox and Friends weekend co-host Pete Hegseth, Fox News contributor Jason Chaffetz, and Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett. Jason, let me start with you. So what I think is going on behind the scenes here is we know that contempt charges were brought in the case of Steve Bannon and in the case of Peter Navarro. Uh, we know that Jim Jordan's Judiciary Committee is investigating whether or not the DOJ and the FBI have been weaponized and politicized. So if they charge Navarro and they charge Bannon, but they don't charge Hunter Biden, uh, doesn't that put Merrick Garland, doesn't that basically prove the point in the investigation of judiciary in terms of a two-tier justice system and, and politics and, oh. and, how, and, and weaponization? Yeah, it really would drive home the point. Uh, look, I, I used to be the chairman of that committee. I could unilaterally issue subpoenas. Mostly, you would have a conversation with somebody and say, do you want me to issue this subpoena? Because it's stroke of my pen. I'll be done with this in the next two seconds. Or you can appear. Now, the reality is Hunter Biden doesn't need a subpoena to appear. If, he's, if he really wants to get in there and talk to him, he just needs to tell him the date and show up. But if he's not going to do that, yeah, issue a subpoena. I think uh, Jim Jordan, Chairman Jordan, uh, Chairman Comer are doing a fabulous job of this. Should continue. They should move forward in the House. They should go forward with contempt. This punk called Hunter Biden has led his whole 53 years of his life on his daddy's coattails. And America's sick of it. And he has never learned the lesson that he needs to actually comply with things and do things. He, I mean, look at the, the, the abandonment of, it, of his own, uh, own uh, child. Child there and what they went through there. So don't give us these lectures about, you know, from Jill Biden, Dr. Jill Biden, talking about how the House is picking on him. Just abide by the rules and you'll be fine. No, she claimed that they're being cruel. If you wanted to talk about cruelty, yeah. I think you hit the nail on the head when you mentioned it's cruel that Joe and Jill Biden didn't recognize their own granddaughter for over four years and were only <laughs> shamed into it by Maureen Dowd at the New York Times uh, and shows like this. Uh, Greg, let me talk to you about from a legal standpoint, maybe, maybe clever on Abby Lowell's part to say, issue a new subpoena. Here are my suggestions for the new subpoena. Uh, but they don't need a new subpoena. Um, I've got to imagine the odds are probably 60-40 he pleads the fifth. But if he does, I don't know if that's going to serve him well in the end. Well, I agree with you. It's a pretense, a charade. Hunter Biden is pretending today through his lawyer, oh, gee, yeah, I'll answer questions now. He's not going to do that. He'll take the fifth. He was always going to take the fifth. That's because there's too much incriminating evidence, and he's already in criminal jeopardy. So if he lies when confronted with evidence of influence peddling, and there's mountains of it, he'd be charged with perjury. If he tells the truth, he further implicates himself. So I think this was always the plan. Uh, let's pull these series of stunts. We'll refuse the deposition. We'll taunt Republicans into a public hearing that Democrats would crater. And if it doesn't work, we'll force the committee uh, to move for contempt. So Hunter has pushed this now to the brink just before the Wednesday full House vote on contempt. And the timing reveals the scam. Today's offer effectively nullifies pressure on Joe Biden's DOJ to prosecute his son for contempt. Don't give them the excuse. Just issue another subpoena tomorrow and be done with it. And it doesn't matter because Hunter Biden will not testify. You can see it in his lawyer's letter at the very end. Look at it closely. He says he'll comply for a hearing or deposition. He doesn't say he'll testify. Compliance is not testifying. Well said. Pete, let me ask you this. I would argue that this never would have happened except for Jim Jordan, the chairman of judiciary, James Comer, the chairman of oversight, uh, Jason Smith, the chairman of Ways and Means, and the, and the pressure that they have put on and the light that they have shown about Merrick Garland and a two-tier justice system and the weaponization of the DOJ under, under Joe Biden and how it's been politicized, just like the FBI. Because if they didn't do this to, if they did this to Navarro and Bannon and they don't do it to Hunter, it's like a, you're reinforcing everything that has been 
every charge that has been made against you. Do you agree with that? I do agree, uh, Sean, and it's about time. It's about time Republicans fight fire with fire the way Democrats have. Hunter Biden's entire life, his whole, all 18 holes are a mulligan at this point. Every single part of what he's been able to get away with is, is a reflection of a corrupt system that protects its benefactors. And then Republicans want to hand ring over, well, we need to provide a, a proactive, positive policy agenda that voters will connect to. Fine, do all that. But in the meantime, use your committees to go after the corruption in plain sight that people get away with in the shadowy corners of Washington, which I would never get away with, you would never get away with, your viewers would never get away with. And these committee chairmen have shown the guts to go to the mat, and they need to keep going to the mat on this corruption all, all the way, expose it, don't worry about political consequences or side, because they'll, they've already done the same thing to Trump, They'll do it to their opponents, and we should fight fire with fire. So I'm glad they're doing it. And what about this idea that, that Abby Lowell's suggesting that the initial subpoena was legally invalid uh, because uh, the full House of Representatives uh, had not formalized the impeachment inquiry? Are you buying that, Jason Chaffetz? Absolutely not. That is such hogwash. You don't need an impeachment inquiry to issue a subpoena. As I was chairman, we issued all kinds of subpoenas. You don't need that in place. In fact, the House of Representatives under the House rules can issue a subpoena to anybody at any time for any reason. There is no pre predicate that says it has to be, you know, a, an impeachment inquiry. That is such legal hogwash. It's meant to snicker, snooker people. Nobody's buying that. Yeah, and then there's the suggestion. I want to get your take on whether or not it was uh, le illegally, uh, it was legally invalid. Uh, but then Lowell, in a footnote, states and suggested a procedure for a hybrid process of public de deposition. Greg, that's not how the the system works. I. I know no. they thought it was a cute talking point when they said, um, no, we want a public hearing. You can, and then Comer, to his credit, said, sure, we'll give you a public hearing after we depose you behind closed doors, and we have the freedom to ask you the questions that we might not be able to ask you uh, in public. Uh, that's, how, that's how that system works. But they want to change the whole system yeah. every step of the way, which is, it's kind of the life story of Hunter. They didn't want to charge him. The fix was in. Then the whistleblowers come out. Then he gets a sweetheart deal. That fell flat on its face because of one judge. And now here we are with a very biased special counsel. But Merrick Garland, he's got to he's got to be thinking about how this all impacts him. No. Yeah, absolutely. And again, uh, don't give Garland an excuse not to prosecute Hunter Biden for contempt. Just issue a new subpoena. Uh, but look, a deposition is vital, it's important, which is why it's used, because it's not the politicians who are asking the questions. It's the investigators and lawyers who are steeped in the knowledge of the case. They know that documents inside and out, they ask penetrating, skillful cross-examination questions. You don't get that in a public hearing where there's a five-minute limit and the panel members you know, deliver speeches and rarely ask a question. That's what Hunter Biden and Abby Lowell wanted, uh, but they shouldn't get it. Thank you all. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.